Assalamualaikum and hello YouTube. My name is Nur Muhammad from NMWatch and yes, I'm back with a um, how to say a final, not a final review, maybe a full review or <laughs> maybe a full up review. I don't know. Let's just talk about this watch that I've bought maybe around around maybe two months back. And yeah, I've done an initial review for this particular watch, which is the uh, sterile dial, sterile, sterile, sterile dial panis uh, Batman GMT. And yes, uh, I really, really do like this watch. Okay, so before we start the, this episode, I would like to do a quick response check. Today, I'm wearing my um, Cardison, Cardison, or Cardison automatic <laughs> watch supplied by Gearbest.com. And this time around, it is on this. I haven't done a review for this particular strap as yet. This is the um, AliExpress, uh, what do you call this? French para para trooper straps. Okay, so anyway, we will talk about about this one. But I've done a review for this particular watch and check out. Please check out my video. I've archived this one if you want to know what are my opinions about it. But let's get to the watch to the panis right? Okay, so um, things that I like about this watch, man, this dial, this black shiny dial, this uh. Um, what do you call uh, ceramic bezel insert is really really cool it's very super super shiny and yeah but the dial yeah let's talk about the dial first it's this is my first ever sterile dial in my collection I kind of digging it I don't really miss the text on the dial to be completely honest with you of course it looks a bit weird but you know it's not really the end of the world, okay? So, and the loom, yes, the loom, uh, the markers are fine. It's an it's implied, uh, applied indices, but the loom is not as good. You don't really expect that much for something that is worth 75 bucks. But I do hope if Parnis uh, have plans to, you know, increase their value or bang for buck uh, proposition in the future, please guys improve the improve the loom okay okay so yeah but you no know, not really that bad okay so the ceramic bezel insert yes this is a really really nice insert you can see the contrast between this black and blue which i do really like but the downside of it it makes this watch um you know what less versatile yeah that's what i'm trying to say it's less vers versatile even with this blue color right so anyway this is a um, I know mate, another marine national <laughs> needle stripes from cheapestnedostripe.com. So the the bright anyway, what I'm trying to say is the brightness of this blue makes it difficult to match even with this navy color. So something about it that makes it a bit off, you know. So but I do prefer this uh, black and blue bezel insert. But uh, I don't know, it's um. It's difficult to pair <laughs> this watch with another strap that I already have in my collection. So if you guys have any other solutions, what are the strap that is uh, compatible or aftermarket strap that is compatible with this uh, watch, please go ahead and give co a comment down below. Okay, so that's the bezel. Uh, the hands, the blue GMT hands works really, really nice. Um, I have to say it's kind of getting, uh, getting used. I've, I've kind of getting used to it because like I mentioned in my previous in my initial video review I've mentioned that whenever I try to close or I I, I close this uh, and after I set this GMT hands and when I push the crown in the GMT hand will move so I kind of um, you know get used to it so uh, you know what you, you, you just have to you know let take it as a compromise because of the price or maybe because of the movement All right so Nice blue hands, nice uh, Mercedes style hands, and uh, Cyclops is okay. You can see that the magnification is just nice. The actual um, date wheel is under there. Okay, it's not that bad. The Cyclops that I've got is not really that aligned properly, but it's not really that bad. Maybe just a little 0.5 millimeters slant slanted, so not that bad. And yeah. Overall, on the front, on the front, it looks okay-ish. <laughs> Other than this GMT uh, hands, right? GMT hands, which is a bit annoying when you want to 
adjust it. Okay, so using it, I've so yeah, I've bring I have brought this watch to Japan uh, during my travel. So what happened is when Japan is actually one hour ahead of us here in Malaysia. So if we are in Malaysia now, it's nine p and uh, sorry nine a.m. and in Japan it's already ten a.m. So one whenever I do that, I have to change because this GMT hand is I set it to the uh, GMT time uh, or Greenwich Mean Time. So when I, when I went to Japan, I I have to readjust the whole thing again. So it's kind of a pain in the ass, especially when this GMT hand has its own has its own mind, right? So anyway, but but anyway, you get used to it. Yeah, but it's it's not really you know, uh, uh you, you don't really have to do it uh, every single day. But yeah, it's still an annoyance when you have to adjust the uh, hands first and then adjust. The uh, GMT hand according to the time zone that you are in. For example, Japan is GMT plus nine, Malaysia is GMT plus eight. So yes, I have to adjust this hand and also this hand. So yeah, because this is not a true GMT watch per se, but yeah, that's kind of a you know trade off that you know you that you're gonna get when you buy this watch. Okay, so the bezel itself, I think. I've mentioned in the in my previous video the bezel is 120 click. It's not their typical 24 out of 24 click GMT, and align it. It's not really that perfectly aligned, but there's still a back play, but but not that worse. But yeah, still it's stuck. <laughs> it sucks. <laughs> anyway, so the crown. Okay for a Parnis. I say that okay for a Parnis because I've had the um. Panis uh, Yardmaster before, uh, when you want to, it, it is a screw down, screw down crown of course, and uh, dif the only difference between my Panis uh, Yardmaster is that watch had the uh, P sign logo here, and this one doesn't have any sign uh, crown. But anyway, not that bad. So screwing it in, you can see. I think you can, maybe there is a black. Um, I forgot to mention that there is a black silicone, uh, what do you call this, ring O ring, to make sure the the water water resistance and screwing it in is a bit bit a bit better compared to my Panis Yardmaster, which you know it doesn't really have that um, how to say that fine screwing screwing feel screwing in feel, but yeah, this one is okay, not that bad. Okay, so. Uh, case design. I kind of like <laughs> this. is basically my first ever experience with the um, uh, what do you call this super case style, super case style from Rolex. Okay, so I kind of kind of digging it, right? So for something that is forty millimeters, it looks like it is um, a bigger watch than it is. And this um, what do you call um, super lux or is it super case lux? <laughs> super case style lux is you know what uh, contributing to the. Biggestness, biggerness, or, or big, <laughs> looking, looking, looking big, feeling for the watch, which is okay because you know what the luck to luck from here to here is just forty eight millimeters. So for my skinny six point seven five inch wrist, it's it's okay, right? So anyway, you can't really say anything about the case back because there's nothing to show because they just copied the um the the Rolex style style case. So you know, yeah, nothing really interesting over there. But in case I want to look at uh, at look at the um, DG uh, move uh, great GMT movement down there, yeah, I have to buy a special tool. But you know what? I'm not really going to do that anytime soon. Okay. So what else that we should talk about the watch? So yeah, I I initially when I bought this watch, I don't really think that I'm gonna need a GMT watch. But now I understand why. A person would like to have a GMT watch because of his so her travel all over the world. But yeah, this is a nice substitute if you don't want to spend ten thousand bucks for a real uh, Rolex Batman GMT. But if you know what, if you know what, if I have the money right now, I would definitely, definitely get the Rolex Batman GMT because of my experience with this Panis uh, GMT Batman. Okay, right? so. That's the real reason why I bought this homage watches anyway. So let's okay up a quick update about this bracelet. I still hate it. <laughs> I love this um, uh, the aesthetic of this uh, what do you call this jubilee bracelet. But again, I tried to fit it back on this uh, watch, but 
for whatever reason I couldn't get it and maybe you know when I when I took off the bracelet from the watch you can see that this this um, pin is actually bent here and here so this begs the question of whether this this uh, bracelet needs a curve and curved uh, spring bar okay so I'm gonna f I'm gonna try to buy those uh, curved spring bar and see whether it could be used uh, to to put this bracelet back onto the watch and of course like I mentioned in my previous uh, initial video review I've stated that this bracelet has a bent uh, first link here and I've contacted the seller and Aliexpress agreed to refund me 15 bucks so that I could buy another strap okay so talking about straps yes I've paired it with lots of um, other straps I've paired it with um, NATO's I've paired it with um, uh, another metal bracelet and everything so of and of course well I will do a fashion show video review for this particular watch but as it is for me I don't know man if I want a real GMT watch I definitely and if of course if I have the money I would definitely go ahead and buy the uh, Rolex um, Batman GMT but I don't have the cash right now right so for the time being this is quite a cool alternative so you know do you guys have any other suggestion for a cool GMT watch other than this one is I know that Steinhardt has that blue 39 millimeters um, BM GMT watch that I should take a look at what do you guys think of that but as of now for the money that I've paid 75 bucks this is a really really nice uh, alternative to the real Rolex Batman GMT okay so if you guys like this video please give me a thumbs up if you guys want to see more content such as such as this in the future uh, please go ahead and uh, subscribe to my channel just by clicking my face down here and of course uh, push the bell button so that you won't miss any of my future video reviews so until next time I'll see you soon bye bye